Have you ever been surprised to learn that you weren't as good or as smart as you thought? I remember one time early in my career at General Electric, I was brought into a very senior manager's office and my stomach was doing flip-flops. I was extremely nervous. And after some small talk, he said to me, Lisa, you're like a huge cruise liner, a big ship coming into port and you rock all the other boats around you and you don't even realize it. I was mortified. I couldn't believe it. I thought I was a good communicator. I had even won public speaking awards, yet I didn't know what I didn't know. And I think that's pretty common. We go to school, we learn reading and writing, but we don't really learn effective communication. So fast forward, they send me to training and I'm sitting down next to this guy. He was just a curmudgeon, very unhappy fellow. He was telling me about at his company, they do surveys and they try to see the communication skills of the managers and the ones that do the poorest on this survey get sent to this training, charm school, he said. So we take this survey, that was our first task, a communication style survey, different columns with different categories of how you interact. And I was dying to know what this guy's scores were. So I look over at his scores and they were identical to mine. I couldn't believe it. And in that moment, I said to myself, I'm going to get better at this. I'm going to improve my communication skills. And I got so interested in communication and so interested in how this can advance someone's career that I decided to dedicate my entire career to communication skills and change the course of my career. Now, of course, that was many, many, many years ago. And since then, I've created a business helping people, helping organizations to improve productivity through improved communication skills. In the last five years, I've been the host of the Public Speaker Podcast, and that show helps people to manage perceptions, to maximize sales, and to increase and enhance their effectiveness as a leader. And I get questions from all over across the board, from taxi drivers to priests to account managers to CEOs of companies asking me questions about how to improve their communication skills. And I've been fortunate, the show has been very popular. It's gotten over 10 million downloads since we started. And as a result of that, I was asked to write a book called Smart Talk. And in the book, what I do is I delve into much more detail, considerably more detail in each of the areas. And I look at the most recent research and provide evidence-based techniques to help people apply them both to their professional life and to their personal life. And in fact, if you'd like more information on the book, you can find that down below. For individuals, I offer courses. I offer a course for technical presenters called Expert Presenter. So if you're an engineer or if you're in the biotech area, you'd like to look at that course to help your public speaking skills. Or for the rest of the people that make presentations, consider my Powerful, Prese powerful Presenter course. And in that course, what I cover is variety of areas to help you become a stronger, more engaging, more influential presenter. And I also provide coaching occasionally one-on-one. -on -one. You can look at that as well. But of course, my primary business is to help organizations. I help organizations to manage conflict, to build teams, to present their messages better. And you can look at that and the details of some of those case studies below as well. Finally, my most recent endeavor, I'm excited. I'll be working towards a podcast called Smart Talk, Inspiring Conversations with Extraordinary People. And in that podcast, I plan to invite you to join me to be a participant in those conversations, to have you ask your questions and have you learn from them. So combining the tips and the techniques, the practical aspects from my podcast and from my books and from my writings, and add that with the inspirational element that you'll get from the Smart Talk podcast, I think together those offer the secret sauce of success. And I invite you to join me. You can enter your name and email above and you'll get the seven essential traits of extraordinary people. Just enter the name above, your email and your name, and you'll get the seven essential traits of extraordinary people. I'm Lisa B. Marshall. Thanks for visiting my site.